Hey guys, I apologize. I am super late filming this video, but this is going to be my week, what is it, 16 to 19 pregnancy update. Um, I have it all written here on my phone, so hopefully we can get through this pretty fast. <laughs> um, so let's just get started. So week 16, I pretty much worked. <laughs> so um, I started fine. Oh, I started to find my back around this time, around 16 weeks at work because my job involves sitting all day um, and I don't get a lot of opportunities to get up and stretch and move around. I'm pretty much sitting all day. Um, so that's when I started to find my back. Um, also, I started feeling little pops or little twitches. I like to use the word twitches because <laughs> that's what it kind of feels like to me. You know when your eye twitches or... A random body part twitches well that's what it kind of feels like um, in my belly obviously the baby moving um, every once in a while at 16 weeks um, I wasn't a hundred percent sure that it was a baby because it was so random um, but I was I was pretty sure it was and it would happen like at the most random times when I'm not really like paying attention so yeah I I started feeling it at 16 weeks um, so 17 weeks I started feeling the baby a little bit more still every once in a while um, but I was sure that it was a baby by at that time um, also at 17 weeks we bought our first box of Huggies so we don't have a Costco where we live and every time we go to Edmonton our friends told us that it's a good idea to start uh, start a habit of picking up a box of diapers every time we go there so we picked up a I think a size one in I think it was Huggies that we picked up I'm not 100% sure um, but yeah we, we bought our first box of diapers um at 17 weeks and we also picked up a jumper roo off the buy and sell off our local buy and sell off facebook um and it's one of those like on the stands on the stand and the baby like sits in the little harness thing and jumps up and down our friends have one and their son loved it so when we seen it we grabbed it um obviously he's not going or he or she is not going to use it for a while but we uh got it anyways weeks 18 um it was when i started to not sleep for work um especially for night shifts um i usually sleep i usually sleep pretty decent um but not at week 18. <laughs> um, i would only get like three or four hours of sleep a day um which is not a lot i work what 15 hour days i'm gone from my house and three or four hours of sleep is not enough um so what would happen would i would wake pretty early in the morning to pee and then i just couldn't fall back asleep um which sucked um so i was really tired at work obviously um and then at, what was that so week 18 that was when my back was bad my whole work week so usually when i go back to work my back my back my lower back um usually gets sore kind of um just for the first day or two and then it kind of goes away but this time it at week 18 um my whole week th that whole week my back was uh giving me back i had a lot of back pain can't get it out um and I found too that my legs were like achy, crampy, probably from sitting all day. We bought a crib at week 18, so we also bought the crib secondhand. Um, I mean, a crib is a crib. Cribs are expensive, and I really don't care about buying secondhand. Um, when we picked it up, it does have teeth marks on it, which to be honest, I never even thought of cribs having teeth marks on them, but um, I know that you can get like the, what are they called, like bumper pads, not the bumper pad goes around the bottom, like the rail guards or whatever they're called, um, so we'll probably get some of those, or if I can find some like baby safe paint, maybe I'll get that, but I'll probably just buy the, the covers for it, but yeah, it's not a big deal, but yeah. <laughs> So that was exciting. That was our first like kind of big purchase, but it was not new, so it's not 
wasn't that big of a purchase, but we have a crib. Um, so I started feeling the baby more almost every day at 18 weeks, but it still, again, feels like that twitching, popping feeling. Um, week 19, um, I started feeling the baby move every day, multiple times in the day. Um, ultrasound, I have my 19 week ultrasound. Um, the results came back great. I found out my prenatal a few days after. At my prenatal, my blood pressure was 106 over 62, which is good. And she measured my placenta for the first time, uh, which was 19.5. I'm guessing that's centimeters. I didn't write, write it down, but it must be centimeters. Um, also at my 19 week ultrasound, yeah, let's talk about more about that. Um, um that was the anatomy scan so they like measure all parts of the baby um i did have to oh i told her if she can get the gender to write it on an envelope for us so she done what she had to do and then the baby was facing the wrong way um so she told me to lie on my side and she would be back in like five ten minutes so she was gone for a while when she came back she had the envelope and I, I was kind of hoping she wasn't going to get the sex because we decided that we were going to wait and do our gender reveal when we fly home to Newfoundland for Christmas and we don't fly until December 8th and that appointment was like November 1st or November 3rd I believe so it's pretty much a whole month that we would have to have this envelope um, and not look inside which is I'm not it's it's been good I, I must say it hasn't been that hard but still I was hoping that she wasn't going to get the sex because then I would have to rebook an appointment and I wouldn't know that I could know the sex um, but she came in with the envelope and that was the only time that I really wanted to open the envelope was when she first gave it to us um, I really wanted to look but Byron really wants to wait and I do too so then we can spend it with her family it's just our decision what we wanted to do but um so he took it and hid it right away from me because he knew that i would probably snoop <laughs> um so yeah um she, we got a whole bunch of pictures from that um the baby was so cute squirming around a lot um they always say that the baby is super active but um yeah all the results from that anatomy scan came back good um, so at 19 weeks and three days, <laughs> I noticed that I could see kicks from the outside, which blew my mind. I, I was, sh I was shocked because every time I would feel the baby, I would like put my hands on my belly, but I could never feel it with my hands. I can only feel it on the inside. So I never ever bothered to look at my belly to see if I could see kicks, but one night I was watching someone's video. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Erin Williams, her like first pregnancy um, series. And I was watching her like 19 week vlog, I, I'm pretty sure. And she mentioned that she finally got it on video that like kicks from the outside. And I'm like, what? Like, that's pretty cool. You can see the baby at 19 weeks. I wish I could see the baby at 19 weeks from the outside. And it just so happened that the baby was kind of like squirming at that moment and I looked down and I could see little kicks <laughs> I was like I was so shocked um, it was super exciting though uh, I haven't got really gotten it on video um, and even if you can it's pretty faint um, but barn um, also got to see a kick for the first time um, somewhere around 19 and a half weeks um shortly after that but um i what did i write did he feel i think at 19 weeks it was also when he first felt the baby so it took him a while to feel it from the outside especially because, like you need to have patience um i mean the, the baby doesn't kick when you want it to kick it just kicks randomly um and usually usually when i in the mornings or anytime I eat or when I go to bed is usually when the baby is active and every time I would like grab his hand and put it there the baby would stop or it would like move <laughs> um, but yeah he he noticed 
he saw a kick from the outside before he felt a kick um but every time i would go to bed usually the baby is most active when i go to bed and i would like get my phone out and turn on the flashlight and i would like stare at my belly um and just watch the little like pops and he finally got to see it um also i noticed too when doing that um my belly looks a lot hairier i don't think it's hairier i think the, the hairs might be a little bit darker than it was before but it just looks hairy <laughs> um so I had, at 19 weeks I started getting acid reflux when lying down which I've never had acid, acid reflux before so that's different I think that's pretty much it for, that I have wrote for 19 weeks um, just random things that I had wrote down too so I was still getting headaches a lot um, not so bad as it was at 15 weeks but I was still getting a lot of headaches um, more than I should uh, one day, I did order a blood pressure cuff thing from Amazon and one day when I had a really bad headache, um, I checked my blood pressure and it was, oops, what am I doing? Oh no. Hold that up. <laughs> I checked my blood pressure and it was 88 over 42. So I feel like my headaches had to do with low blood pressure so then I... I really started to try and eat more frequent um, and that kind of seemed to help a little bit. My boobs aren't sent, aren't tender um, anymore but they're still a little bit sensitive if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and it's been a while. I didn't write down when they stopped hurting but it's been a while. Uh, my acne finally cleared up for the most part. Um, I have a few breakouts right now. I find like when I go back to work, I get a couple pimples. It's not like acne all over my face. It's kind of just like random pimples. Usually on my forehead actually. But it, cause I did have a f nice few pimples like um, in the in the beginning, but it kind of, it cleared up a nice bit. Um, So runny nose. So that is something that's happening, that's been happening for a while too. Um, I get congested more and my nose gets runny a lot <laughs> or I get yeah really congested um, and my gums bleed more often when I'm brushing my teeth but I heard that's super normal too um, increase in cervical fluids or you know CF uh, yeah definitely I pretty much had to wear a panty liner now all the time TMI but I noticed that my leg hair and like my armpit hair grow a lot faster. <laughs> uh, that this is not a good um, pregnancy symptom, but I do notice that my leg hair grows a lot faster. Like I'll shave it, and usually my legs are good for a while, but not anymore. Um, what else do I have here? So I have been going to yoga, but my back really hurt. I'm guessing from work, but. Um, anything like any pose on my back like most of my favorite poses like baby pose anything on my back would um, kind of hurt uh, a little bit so that kind of sucked um, even Shavasana was uncomfortable <laughs> um, but yeah I really do like prenatal yoga so I switched to prenatal yoga I don't go to any more like flow classes or hatha or vinyasa classes I usually stick to like pre prenatal classes or yin um, and I don't do hot I never did like hot yoga um, I get very overwhelmed in hot in hot yoga um, it's, I, I don't know so I I just go to like warm or like regular classes and I started going to the gym a couple times a week I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that is my update for weeks 16 to 19. Um, yeah, a little a little heads up, I am done work now. Um, I am currently 22 weeks and like one day, one day, two day, one day I believe. So I do have a little bit of catching up to do, but now I'll have a lot more time to spend doing this. Um, I did finish work because my back got really bad and the sleep issue, but I'll talk about more about that in my next update. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get my life 
together here soon quick i want to get my christmas tree up so i gotta do that there's just so much happening and i have two weeks before we're going to newfoundland so but that's all to come can't wait for christmas this year um so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next update